everyone and welcome to the session. Today we are going to get our hands on the topic microbit. Before moving on, let me introduce myself. I'm Shivani, engineering graduate, IT department, batch 2016 to 2020, Arna Engineering College. So let's start. Here is the list of contents which we are going to approach in this session. First, let me give you the idea about the importance of coding and the need to learn them. Then, let's have a look at the microcontroller which is followed by the microbit and its futures. Then, let's dig into the methods of the using the microbits and uh, steps to code them with an the example. That is, I'm going to give you a sample. And finally, the list of uh, upcoming sessions on microbit experiments. So, let's get started. Uh, before getting into the concept of microbit, let me show you the need of code and why next generation requires it inevitably. The future work is going to involve millions and millions of robots like them in every nook and corner of our daily lives. It can be any construction work farming or agriculture, any kind of agricultural work, it may be cattling, rearing of animals, milking them, any work related to animals, then construction that is 3D modeling, real constructions of buildings as well. We are going to have them automated with these robots, home automations, 3D printed houses. It is going to be completed within 24 hours. Real-time construction works with the help of uh, hollow blocks or real bricks, whatever it is. We are going to have them with robots, automated vehicles, which is going to be in an efficient manner and fastest as well. Then retail stores like amazon go for entry and exit and billing all the cases are going to be automated and we are going to have automated systems in every places of our lives the products ordered in amazon are going to be delivered by the drones which is the fastest means and it is going to be an efficient one which is unbelievably faster we are going to have them in the food sectors and even in cooking setups, that is, we are going to order food items in cafes, uh, McDonald's, etc. And they are going to be many for profiteering for these companies. Most importantly, we are going to have them in this medical department. That is, we are going to automate the surgeries as well. Its impact is very immense. As per these statements, we are having automated doctors, analysts, future lawyers, and reporters, and they are going to be even uh, in the places of customer services and providing better services. Now we are just entering the robotic phase. The future has more surprises. Okay, normally what everyone thinks after this is, okay, changes will occur, but it will take time and we can prepare ourselves in the meantime. We are absolutely wrong here. Let me show you how fast these changes can occur. In 1900, there was only one car in the New York City road. And in 1913, that is after 13 years, only one horse in the same road. These changes occur slowly because there were less awareness and fewer technologies. Our future will change in a rapid, drastic and exponential manner. So it's our turn and responsibility to keep our children equipped for this unknown and out of blue future. One of such steps for the future and actually a very, very small in initiative taken from our side is this microbit sessions which can enhance their coding skills and creativity we hope that it will be of any use for the future generation in any aspect of their lives so now let's get our hands on microbit you by uh, people might now think why we are discussing microcontroller here it's because microbit is a microcontroller designed for cool creations like robots to musical instruments. 
microcontroller. As the name depicts, it's a micro-sized and controls the device. As of the definition, it is to be programmed by the users and instructed to be responsible for controlling all the functionalities that takes place in any device. To be said in simple words, it can be compared with a human brain or a CPU of the computer. Here in microbit, it is micro-sized chip which is integrated in the circuit of the microbit device. Some of its specifications include 32-bit ARM Cortex memory, 256 KB flash memory, 16 KB of RAM, and 2.4 GHz of Bluetooth energy. So Microbit is an open source hardware and an ARM-based embedded system. The Microbit was designed to encourage children to get actively involved in writing software for computers and building new things rather than being only consumers of media. It was designed to work alongside other systems such as a Raspberry Pi, uh, building on BBC's legacies with the BBC Micro for computing in education. And Microbit was invented in 1980s, that is early 1980s in UK, but unveiled only in 2015. So this slide depicts the key features of the Microbit device. This picture demonstrates the front and rear view of the device. The front side has two buttons named A and B, three output pins, 25 LED lights, power port and ground port. The back side has processor, sensors, USB port, battery connector, pin edges and Bluetooth. We'll be using the A and B buttons to give input and view the results of our program through the 25 LED lights. Other components are used in specific scenarios as per the requirements. We'll showcase some of such scenarios in our upcoming sessions. Okay, now let's dig into the process and procedure to work with the microbit. So here we can have two methods. One is we can use the text editors directly and then code our program, upload it to the microbit. This method fits for coders who are very well known about the code for microbits. Our coding. So another easy method which suits everyone that is as well the beginners is using the make code website. So here I'm going to demonstrate a sample example in the website after explaining the steps. So let's start with the steps first. Initially we have to connect the microbit to our PC or laptop using the USB cable. The microbit will pop up as a drive. Then Step 2 is to program the functionalities of the microbit in any method. Here we are using make code blocks, so we have to program them. And uh, step 3 is uh, that is, after completing our programming, the code must be downloaded, right? So the file will be downloaded in the HGX format if we are using make code blocks, or we have to make it in the form of HGX file. Then during this file, now we can copy this file and uh, place it in the microbit drive. And while tri file transfer, the microbit's uh, rear side will uh, blink in yellow light, which shows that uh, we are transferring the file. So after the successful transfer of files, the microbit will automatically start to execute the program. Right? The, uh, the steps are very simple, right? So that's all. Now let me show you the sample. So before continuing, let me show you a simple example of coding with a make code uh, website. So this is will be a home page. This is what it will look like. So here we are having many things like tutorials. Um, uh, we can save our projects and everything. So we are having many tutorials for games, music, fashion, toys, signs and everything. So we can find any tutorial and establish them with that small micro bit. That's an amazing case of it. Okay, so let's start with the tutorials. So as I said, we'll have uh, blocks, Python and JavaScript. We can code it with anything. Now we'll go with the blocks, which is easy for everyone. So this is going to be our output that is flashing heart. Okay, instead of uh, going with the tutorials, um, let me show you myself. So we are going to now uh, create a new project okay and we can name it uh, let's give it a flashing light okay 
so right okay so it's creating okay this is what our work area looks like um these are some functionalities like uh, basic input music radio loops logic variables math etc and each of them have uh, their own blocks which uh, has amazing functionalities to create simple to complex microbit experiments all of them are incredible so this is where we are going to place our blocks so we have on start and forever blocks that is they'll work either on uh, on start only or will work forever that is it will run in loops so we can code as per the requirements this is the block space and this is the interesting part that is the emulator which is the virtual micro bit that is uh, it is going to showcase the instant output of the code given over here that is amazing right okay uh, similarly, we are going to have a, a code in JavaScript that is a and we can have the output over here So we can code here and have the blocks there and vice versa is also possible So as we move on with the sessions, you will see amazing functionalities of these blocks So let me show you a, a simple example that is simple hard today So we are going to use show LED block from basic function that is um, we are going to make a heart shape by enabling the lights. Okay, we are going to enable the lights in the shape of the heart. So, we are just going to click them and enable them. Right? We can make use of any shape which will be showcased. That's not a problem. Just we have to enable them in which shape we need them. So, after enabling, we will get the output in the virtual micro bit. See, we have created a heart. So what we are missing, eh, yeah, it's not blinking, right? Or it's not flashing. We need a flashing heart. So we are going to place another show LED block, which is going to be a blank block. Now what is happening? See, we are having a flashing heart. So what it happened here? So what's happening here? Let's see, it is a forever block that is it going to run in infinite loops. So we have placed first a show LED which is in heart shape and then a plain LED. Okay, so first the, we are having the heart, then a blank. Heart, a blank. It is repeated which gives us a flashing heart. It's easy, right? So if we make it like this, we are having heart under line, heart under line. So we can make use of any codes and if we go to the javascript we'll have the simultaneous code for the blocks which we created there right so that's all we just need to work with some things that is blocks drag and drop that's all in the upcoming sessions we'll make use of every components in the make code so what are the other things we can do over here is we can share this save this then download it so if we download it, we get a hex file, which will be copy pasted into the micro bit drive. So after copy pasting, we'll get the same output in the micro bit as we are getting here. So that's all. It's easy, right? So look around us. Technology is all around us. We use it in all aspects of our lives. It enables us to do amazing things in our lives. But what if we can go further? What if we can go beyond the screen where our digital world is blended with our real world? Now, we can. This is the world of holograms. It enables us to do very amazing features with a lots of things which we can even uh, develop in our future. Interesting, right? We can find more skills and thus develop ourselves with new skills and improve our talents to serve in ahead of years of our surprising future. COVID pandemic has already added extensive surprises. So begin your journey and enlighten yourselves with the technologies. So here is the list of certain upcoming experiments that is name tag, step counter, compass, dice game, etc. So each of them has specific usage of the microbit components. Learn more about them in the upcoming sessions.
So here is the reference links which we used in the sessions. Um, make use of them to learn more about it. Code amazing cool stuff and learn enthusiastically. Thank you.